when I was with Tommy Dorsey, we did 61 nighters in a row in Texas and stayed in Texas, working different spots in Texas. Texas is huge. It's three countries in one. If nobody understands what Texas is, I could tell you something. Because with, and don't forget, we were two in a seat doing one night. It's like two seats, separate guys, and most of the time we got along with each other, you know. There was no problem, most of us, because we knew we were the band, and we enjoyed being with the band. Everybody liked the money we were getting, and we tolerated a leader who sometimes read us out because he didn't feel well that night. Of course, we played the same every night. Everybody who's a professional musician only wants to do a good job. They're nobody's goofing off because they're going to goof it off. And you can't goof it off when you work with Thomas Dorsey because he was a hard stack taskmaster. And as I said before, when we do two and a half hours straight dance and take off a half hour, when it comes to the last hour, we have to play a four hour job. He would play his toughest arrangements, either because he was bored or to make sure that everybody was on their toes. Don't goof up because we're coming to one o'clock. Whatever, or he wanted to play the hardest arrangements at the end of the night. I never analyzed that. I just said, I'm going to make sure I'm in good shape to play that last hour. Because he's a tough man to work for. And I knew that when I joined the band, I had heard his reputation was presented itself. My reputation wasn't too good either when it came to that because I was tough on leaders. That they better do the right thing for me or I'm gone, you know. I was so independent, but I worked for Tommy three different times. I left the band and I was invited back when I had nothing to do. I came back in the band. One time Clark told me, Bass is looking for Trump, why don't you call him? You don't want anything? No, he said, call him. He'll want you for sure. I called him, he said, come on the band right away. I'll send you a ticket. I left him twice and played with him three times. And the last time when I played them, played with him, we were coming in from the road to New York to work the Statler, New York, for eight weeks. And we had to do some extras, records and so and so. And uh, Tino Bozzi, the manager, made a speech one night, told us like, oh, by the way, guys, the extra things will, will not be on your, uh, on your salary slip. Because we had to do that with a, I said, Tino, two week notice. I want to get paid for working those record dates. So he, he went to Tommy. Tommy said to me, Paul, you're in your hometown. You're going to go home every night and sleep with your wife in your bed. What, why would you want to give notice? I said, Tom, I want my money. If I'm going to play a record date, I deserve to get paid for it. And that's what I want. Thank you so much. I enjoyed working for you. Three days before we came into Stadler, Tino Bossy, the man that came up, Paul, you got your money. So and that was one time I won, which was the only time I won from Tommy where I enjoyed the shit out of it. You know? I mean, you live a life, we are 80, 80 something. I got so many stories. You can't have enough film in your camera for me to tell you all the stories of my life as a trumpet player and big bands. Because I got so many stories to tell you, which I enjoy now, because I look back and I, uh, I survived. <laughs>